Today we're going to illustrate how to determine the Babcock, which is the concentration of a dry lube or reactive lube bath, and also whether the bath is on the free alkali or free acid side. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have a liquefied sample. So you're either going to be taking it out of the tank or you'll have a bottle of your bath that uh, you've heated up in a water bath to liquefy it. We're going to pipette a 10 mil sample of the liquefied bath into this bottle here, which is called a Babcock bottle, and you'll see that there is a skinny neck with graduations on it. Just get the pipette into the tip of the neck and it should go in easily for you. Sometimes you'll get a little foaming, but don't worry about that. And then as soon as you have the 10 mils into your Babcock bottle, at the same time while your sample is liquefied, I also like to pipette the sample for the free alkali or acid determination. So that is also a 10 mil sample that we are going to pipette right into a 250 mil beaker. Here we go. Once you have your samples in, first thing we're going to do is get the Babcock set up. So off to the side you're going to have a boiling water bath. You're going to have it large enough so that the entire Babcock bottle up to at least half of the neck is submerged in the water. And we are going to add 10 mils of 50% sulfuric acid to the Babcock bottle. This is going to split the soap in the fatty acid is going to come out and that's what's going to end up oiling out into the neck of the bottle. So carefully pour that in. The 10 mils doesn't have to be super accurate, which is why we're using a graduated cylinder. However, if you're not comfortable using a graduated cylinder, you can use a pipette as well. Some people find that a little easier. It's totally up to you. Okay, once the 10 mils is in, Give it a little stir, and then we're going to add 10 mils, again with a graduated cylinder, of uh, phenothaline special. And you've probably all heard of phenothaline. The only difference between phenothaline and phenothaline special is it's a little more concentrated. So it's a 1% phenothaline solution, and it is in 50% isopropanol. And we do neutralize that when we make it so that it does not affect the free acid or alkali determination. Okay, I've got all that in, so now I'm going to put that right here in my boiling water bath. And I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes. Don't leave it in too, too long, because uh, sometimes it makes it a little difficult for the, for the um, split fatty acid to come to the top. So about five minutes. While that's cooking, it's a good time to go ahead and do your other test. So we're going to take, again, the phenothaline special. And we're going to put in 100 to 150 mils of phenothaline special. You can go, just go by the graduations on the beaker, that's plenty accurate enough. And you'll be able to tell whether it's going to be alkali or acid based on the color. And you can see here that it turned pink when it came in contact with the lube sample, which means it is on the alkaline side. So this is going to be a free alkali test. If it did not turn pink, it would be free acid, and we would be titrating with a different material. So uh, one thing we want to do before we do the titration is put that sample onto a hot plate. You don't want to use open flame because you are using something that is flammable, the isopropanol and the phenothaline special. So we're going to put that onto a hot plate and let that come to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, we're going to take it off and do the titration. Okay, so it looks like our Babcock test is ready. You can tell it's ready because there's a nice layer of oil on the top of the on the top of the solution. So now what we're going to do is take some of the boiling water out of the bath and we're going to just add that to the Babcock bottle until that oil is up into the graduated portion of the neck. Alright, and as soon as we've got all of that into the neck we'll be able to take our reading. One more should do it. Ok, 
Okay, so you want to make sure the whole oil layer is in the graduated portion of the neck. And what we want to do is count the number of graduations. Each graduation is 0.1 Babcock. So from 3 to 4, would, there's 10 graduations, so that would be 1 Babcock. So we are at 1.5678, a 1.9 Babcock for this sample. And there are instructions right on our technical data that will tell you how you can increase your Babcock. Okay, so once our free alkali uh, solution starts boiling, we can take it off of the hot plate and we can do our titration. Now remember, uh, the solution is pink, so it's on the alkaline side. We are going to titrate with 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid. We are going to titrate until the pink color disappears. Uh, we're not really going to colorless because um, there's usually a little bit of iron dissolved in the uh, dry lube solution and that's going to give a little bit of a background color so we want to go drop wise until the pink color disappears you can see it slowly getting lighter and once all the pink is gone that's your reading now if you're not completely certain you can always look at your burette see where you are and we are at 0 0.6 right now and we can add a few more drops just to be sure. If it doesn't change, which that did change, one more drop. and we have a little background color but the pink is gone and we are at 1.0 so we have a free alkali of 1.0 again if when we added the phenolphthalein special the solution was colorless, we would be on the acid side, and instead we would titrate with 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. And the test procedure for both, both the Babcock and the free alkali slash acid can be found on our technical literature for our dry lube products. Thank you.